Good morning! We are headed to Conover, North Carolina for Ben's trip. Got my Chick-fil-A breakfast and that blue sweatshirt, Victoria's Secret pink sweatshirt that I showed in my last haul. Sorry, I'm looking at traffic. Um, because my friend is buying it from me today. <laughs> so, we will see you there. Peace. So here I am looking through some bins of shoes. Um, they had a bunch of different good stuff. I did find a lot of one shoes where you couldn't find the mate. Um, and you'll see a little bit later, we had a little sad goodbye to those. But <clears throat> I'm sorry, this isn't the best. I was trying, there was a ton of people there and I was trying not to film people. Um, pretty much all the shoes I'm showing you I did not pick up. So this I've never seen before. They had giant bins of sports cards. I don't know enough to really do much with them. I know some of the red back ones are from the 80s and stuff because my ex used to do some stuff with that. Um, but I mean, I have some cards at home that I would love to sell, but I don't know a ton about it. Here I am showing you Victoria's Secret swimsuit, but it's got some damage, so that's why it's a no. Otherwise it would have been a yes. Just going through some stuff. Um, just not much great stuff to look at today, unfortunately. Just some more stuff like Maurice's and stuff that I just passed over. Just not good stuff today. Um, and just kind of sifting through everything, hoping to find something, but I never really do. <laughs> so, lots of colorful stuff, but nothing great. And this is kind of some of the stuff that I had picked up at the time. Some you'll see in the haul, some you won't because I didn't get it. But, um,. I feel like my short arms are not helping my thrifting filming as well. <laughs> Goodbye to you, single shoes.
just had a good lunch and it is time to go home now not the best day not the best day um got a couple cute things but I don't know if it was worth the drive today honestly so we'll see we'll see what happens you know here in North Carolina we do have a lot of outlets this one is about an hour 15 away from me. Charlotte is about 20 minutes. And then Greensboro is about an hour and a half. And um, I guess Columbia, South Carolina would be about an hour and a half. But I've heard it's not good, so I haven't been there. Anyway, we're going to get into the haul now. See you soon. Hey, guys. It is Dollar Dr. Jennifer here with the haul portion of today's thrift with me. I'm sorry, it was still not the best filming. Um, a lot of people just kept coming up like near me and so I felt really weird trying to film with just some random strangers there. Um, so I got some stuff and obviously you saw my sad salute to the one, the one shoes with no pairs. I'm still very sad about them, especially the Stuart Weitzman shoes. And the sad salute to the fry boots, my first time finding them, and they were just too destroyed and too heavy for me to take a chance on. Uh, one of the soles was completely missing. So, oh well. <laughs> Not the best day, my friend and I both thought we had a lot better luck there last time. Got a couple things, I uh, spent $14 and three cents, I think. And then I spent a dollar seven or something like that. Yeah, a dollar seven at the, like next door to the outlet, there's a boutique. <clears throat> and um, I got two mugs there. So they're 50 cents each. So I'll show all that stuff to you guys. Filming in a different location, too much sun in the sunroom today. <laughs> and yeah, so. Here we go. Ooh, got really bright. I don't know if I like that. Or like that. I think I'll leave the light off today. You're welcome. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna start off with the boutique items. I just got two mugs. Um, the first one is um, from Blizzard Entertainment, which is a Oh my gosh uh, computer gaming company they do like um, World of Warcraft which I play and this is actually Diablo which is another game um, it's hard to see what's on it but it has like a skeleton and something on it I can't really it's really hard to make out um, but this is actually a newer mug this is from 2019 so I do partake in uh, World of Warcraft from time to time. My nerd's coming out. And I have played Diablo 2, I think is the one I played back in the day. Um, that was in the early 2000s, <laughs> back when I was in college. So yeah, dating myself a little bit with that. <laughs> so I picked up that mug, really good condition. There's always gamer people looking for stuff like that. Um, and then the other mug I got was Namaste at Home with my Frenchie, um, which to me is, I assume meant like a French bulldog. <laughs> so I got this one too. This one is Dolphin Coatings. I don't know. I've never heard of that brand. But um, they're a little dusty, but otherwise in really good condition. So I'm like staining on the bottom of this one, but the other one looks almost brand new. <clears throat> My friend is always like, I never look in the mugs. So I'm like, yeah, well, like I said in my Club 20 or 2020 mugs, <laughs> they do well or they can do well. So, all right. So on to the clothing part of the haul. Got, I think a few shoes. I'm not like, 
overly, overly excited about anything, but. So this is, I don't even know, RQQBA fashion. It's men's size 34. Um, I just thought they were really cute. Tie up board short. They've got like postcards all over it, different places, different beaches and whatnot. Um, and they're in really good condition. So I thought they were cute. There's a couple on, well actually there's one the same size on Poshmark. And of course they list it for like $13. So I'm gonna list mine higher than that, but there is only one other one. So if people don't see the other one, then they'll buy mine. <laughs> All right, and then this was new with tags. Um, not something I'd heard of. Uh, Carly is the brand and it's new with tags. Oops. And it's Salis Boutique. It's a size medium, which I just realized I didn't see on the actual, like, I didn't see that on this tag. It says it on this tag. Um, but it is a cape dress, and it retailed for $96. And it's a cute dress, and then it has this snakeskin cape on the back, which I just thought was super fun. So it's like a sheath dress, um, a black sheath dress. And then a cape. <laughs> My friend looked at me. She's like, I saw that, but I put it back. And I was like, why? She's like, because it was awful. <laughs> I was like, but I love it. <laughs> so anyway, that is that. Let me see if I can find the size on the inside here, just to make sure. Yes, it's a medium. And it's polyester. So I don't know. I thought it was really cute. You can make your own decisions on that. It's different. Don't see many cape dresses out about. And then here we go again with the kids' clothes. It's a problem. But they're US Polo Association, 24 months. And they're just cute little like Bermuda shorts. And then they've got the little polo guy on the back butt pocket. I know that if I don't sell these, um, buy, sell, trade kids will take them and they're like, they weigh like nothing. So, and then I got this really cute life is good shirt. I'm pretty sure it's a two XL. Yeah. Extra, extra large. And it's just a guy hiking with his dog. And it says life is good. <laughs> That's cute. That's kind of like a, I don't know. I don't know what color, color green to call this. Um, I feel like it's like the hiking clothes green. <laughs> and then on the back, it just has the little guy. So it's in good condition. Picked it up. And then... This is a DKNY size small. Um, just a little bra. It says DKNY on one side and closures. No padding or anything. The pads are, I'm assuming the pads are missing, but that's okay. I just put that in the post. Just a little gray bra. Nothing super exciting. This was super cute. Um, the brand is just True Craft, which isn't really anything. It's size extra large. But it is like a... I'm going to call it more of a green. Um, it's an overall, but it's a skirt and it's corduroy. really pretty really pretty color uh, a little bit better there anyway it's got pockets and it's button up and it was just too cute and it looks almost brand new so I got it we will see how that goes once I get it listed and then I thought these were in pretty good condition um, they are Allegria 
Um, and they're a size 37. Yes, 37. Um, it's leather upper and lining. They're really cute sandal. It has like a little suede zip up back. Um, but this is all beading. I just thought these were really cute for Allegria. So I, and it was so funny because my friend and I were both saying, we're like, ugh, Allegria, it just like sits forever. And then I literally found these and I was like, oh my God, I love them. <laughs> That's how shopping goes for me. Here's the other one. So we'll see how they do. I haven't looked them up yet. I looked up some comps and most of the stuff I looked up, I just left because it wasn't very good. Um, this, I did look up the comps. This is, I hadn't heard of this brand. It's Mackenzie Childs. Um, so this is a fish lunchbox. I thought initially it was a wine tote. I mean, it could be whatever you want it to be. But um, I was looking this up on Poshmark and this same exact like print of fish, they have plates. Like the same company makes like, you know, like platter plates kind of thing. Um, they had them listed for like 200 something dollars. I was like, why couldn't I find a plate? I just found the bag. But uh, these are selling for like 20 or so. I'll stick up some comps if I remember. <laughs> like over here. So it was just cute. It looks almost brand new, like it's never been used. So I grabbed it. And then I found some cute shirts, mostly like based on style versus brand. This is Living Doll. It's an extra large. Um, and it's just a, oops. The hand. And then it has like the bottom is fringe. So that's fun. And it looked like it was in pretty good condition. So, I figured I'd try it. And then I found some Star Wars stuff. Um, this is a size medium. And it's kind of a burnout, red and black burnout. And it just says Star Wars and it has like the shadows of um, Luke and um, Darth Vader. And the back is plain. So, and it looks like it's in really good condition. And then this was super cute. This is Juicy Couture. It's an extra small, but it's a gray sweatshirt and it has sequin heels on it. I loved it. Super cute and sparkly. Um, and then there's nothing on the back. Oh yes, there is. It says Juicy. It's like a little metal thing. So that was cute. And then I need to wash this, but this is um, just a beanie hat, and it's a spider hat. Uh, it says 820. I don't know what that means. My friend thinks it's kids, but I'm pretty sure like this would definitely fit me. I guess how oh, my head's made a kid size. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna I'm gonna wash it and then try it on. Maybe I'll take a picture of me in it for my listing. <laughs> but I just thought it was cute. And spider stuff supposedly is good, so we'll see. And here we go with the kids stuff again. But this is so cute. It was so cute. Um, so this is from Love Being Me is the brand, and it's a size five. And it is just a cute little dress with unicorns on the bottom. <laughs> And then there's like little hearts and stars and stuff. Um, it is fully lined. And then on the back, it's got like a little bow. I mean, it's so cute. And these um, straps button on and off. I mean, look at the unicorns. How do you say no? You don't, that's, that's what happens. Here's another one. Hopefully these things start selling. Um, well, partly I got a list of stuff too. 
I will say my friend bought one of those Victoria's Secret pink sweatshirts from me. She saw, she watched my um, last haul on Tuesday, and she said, she went boop, 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 boop. Hey, I need the, the, the sweatshirts that you found. I never find them in that size. <laughs> anyway, this is Mini Bowden, 9 to 10 years. And it's just a cute, it's got like a little sequin collar. But it's just a purple floral dress. Cute little floral dress with sequin collar. It's got a little keyhole in the back. So we will see. And I do need to start posting some more stuff over to Kittizen now that I've made a sale over there. It might do better. I don't know. All right. And then another Star Wars shirt. This is a size large. And it kind of is a writing kind of like a Metallica. It just says dark side on it. And it's um, Darth Vader looking very angry. <laughs> but cute shirt. I kind of like the, the Metallica vibe to the, the writing and stuff. So now I just got to start selling some more of these. And then I found this new Tags Infinity Scarf, and it shows you like multiple ways how to wear it. And it is um, from JCPenney's, and it retailed for $38. But it's just a really pretty velvet, um, velvet, and then just like whatever fabric mix. And it's, uh, trying to get it out of here, so. It's really pretty floral in the fat, in the velvet. Really pretty. So, I will see. It does need to be lint rolled. But, infinity scarf, new tags. And then, I don't know. Another Vera Bradley. <laughs> and this one's in really good condition. It kind of reminds me of 4th of July a little bit. Um, the colors. And it's just a wallet. Um, place for your ID and everything. In very good, very good condition. Um, not really seeing staining on it or, at all, which is fantastic coming from the bins um, maybe a little bit there but that might just be the pattern anyway it has a little outside zipper pocket as well sorry I'm not doing a very good job showing things today so that's what the pattern looks like I will have to look it up and see if I can find it looks like it has tulips on it this is my probably my favorite find today. I have not looked it up. I just got it based on it was cool. <laughs> but it is a um, stainless steel 9 ounce flask. And um, it has horses on it. Running horses through the water. I thought that was neat. And it's like one of those unscrew. And there you go. So... The screw has a little bit of like corrosion on it. I'll try and clean it up a little bit. It does look like it has an artist's name on it at the bottom here, but I have not looked it up yet. But it's really neat. Um, I found it towards the end of the day. My friend was jealous. I guess she liked it too. So, and then I need to wash these. Um, but these are a Mucklux large size 9 to 10 look looks and like you see they're a little dirty but I think if I put them through the wash they'll be okay they're just a, a fold over like slipper boot so that's what they look like approximately I've sold muck looks before and they're comfy and cozy there's the other one And then I grabbed these 
I wasn't super excited about them, honestly, but they're a newer style. Um, they're American Eagle, and they're from 2019. Uh, looking for the size again. Size 7. Um, they got like a chunky heel and this woven front part, and they're like a green, army green color. Um, I mean, they're in excellent condition, a little bit of toe standing here, but um, all in all, they look really nice. So I grabbed them, and we will see how they do. I couldn't find them the exact one on there, but we'll see. I think that might be the last thing. Yes, that is the last thing. So, leave uh, your comments down below how you think that went. It wasn't the best day, like I said, but I've had a couple things. Gotta get some stuff listed as per always. <laughs> and yeah, um, if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to my channel, like this video. I am trying to hit a thousand subscribers this year. That is my goal. Sooner rather than later, but I'm guessing it's gonna take a while. <laughs> uh, but I'm having a good time doing these videos, even so. And I hope your week is going well. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing anything else this week other than my what sold video on Sunday, so stay tuned for that. I have sold some stuff this week. It's a little bit slow. I had a lot of likes today while I was shopping, so I'm going to go tonight and go through all that and make offers. So we will see how that goes. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you Sunday night. I do want to do a premiere at some point, maybe next week or maybe the week after where I can chat with you guys. Let me know in the comments if you enjoy doing that. And remember, help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Bye guys.